Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we've got two devices we will be gaming with. I'm talking about the Oppo Reno 3 Pro and the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G. Now, this is the first time we've done two devices of the same uh, company at the same time, but it's quite interesting to see what they have. So the Oppo Reno 3 uh, Pro has just been announced. This device comes in an aura blue, a midnight black, and a white. We've got the aura blue here, while the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G was announced a little earlier. Uh, that's got the Aurora style rainbow colors to it, right? So we can separate them there. Now, in terms of what is packed underneath the hood, the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G comes with a 6.4 inch display. Uh, it also has a MediaTek uh, P95 processor, it's a new processor from MediaTek, uh, which also carries either eight or 12 gigs of RAM, and you have storage options of either 128 or 256. So we'll see how gaming actually handles on this new bad boy, right? Uh, in terms of uh, battery, you're looking at a 4,025 milliamp battery, and it supports uh, Voke charging, uh, up to 50% in 20 minutes. So that's actually pretty cool here. Now, what about the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G? Now, that sports a 6.5 inch display. It's got the Snapdragon 765G processor, which is a 5G processor. Uh, you also have storage options, which are similar, uh, which of course are 128 and 256. RAM is also similar, eight or 12 gigabytes. And your battery life, your battery is size and charging are the same for both devices. Uh, but what do we have here gaming-wise that's interesting? Now, we've never seen the 765 performance. We've never seen what the P95 does as well. So uh, we're going to take a look at PUBG Mobile and, of course, Call of Duty uh, Mobile to see how it games, see the settings, and check out some temperatures and see what we actually get from this device. So when it comes to gaming, they both performed well and at the same level. Call of Duty Mobile, they both perform at the same graphical level, which was the highest setting, while PUBG, they both performed at high definition. So we have the same settings for both devices there. Now in terms of temperatures, the Oppo Reno 3 Pro I did about 89 degrees, while the Oppo Reno 3 uh, 5G was a little cooler around 82. So there you have it. 
and uh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, now, in terms of charging, as I mentioned, you do have, of course, Vogue charging, uh, and it's really fast. So getting 15 cent in 20 minutes, uh, it's something that's really nice, especially for, for devices at this price point. You've got a fingerprint sensor that's underneath the screen here with these devices, and you also have an array of cameras. Now, the Oppo Reno 3 uh, has a 64 megapixel ultra clear camera that can shoot 108 uh, megapixel images uh, if you actually click the 64 megapixel button. Uh, you also have a 30 megapixel telephoto, 8 megapixel um, ultra wide, and 2 megapixel mono lens. And the front facing camera is a 44 megapixel lens with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. That's why you have that dual uh, punch, uh, punch hole there in the front. While the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G uh, sports a slightly different camera setup. Now the main camera is a 48 megapixel. Uh, you have a 13 megapixel telephoto. You've got uh, eight megapixel um, ultra wide, a two megapixel uh, basically black and white. And then the selfie camera is a 32 megapixel camera. Now these devices record at 4K, both of them together. And the images looked pretty, pretty good for what I saw. But we cared about gaming mostly with these bad boys. And I have to say though, for the price point and where they're slotted in, I like what they're offering. If you guys wanna see more detailed gaming performance uh, from these, uh, let me know, I'll do a gaming review. I'll probably do that on my gaming channel for you guys there, something specific. So let me know if you wanna see more from the Oppo Reno 3 Pro or the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.